Hello and welcome to another Blender Cookie tutorial. This is David Ward and in this tutorial we're going to knock the dust off of the old advanced facial rig uh, with little Edward's head here and I'm going to show you a few more tricks that uh, can make can help make your your facial animations look a little more fluid, a little more uh, exaggerated without having to do any extra steps. So what I'm going to do first is since this is saved from the previous version of Blender, uh, none of the drivers work. So remember how to fix that. Just go up to help and then down to F curve driver version fix and then boom, everything works again. Now, um, if you recall, uh, all of the normal shape key drivers and everything are right here on this bone layer on the very first one and they control all the shape keys and then on this layer right here you have all of these uh, mesh to form bones that I put in here now what I'm going to show you is how to kind of make those work well not kinda how to make those work together at the same time so we're going to need to adjust some of the things we did in the previous one um, like for example we have some constraints put on there to limit their locations and while that works for some of them, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take it off of all of them because with the exaggeration that we're going to be using, it'll be nice to, well, I probably don't need the cheeks there, but some of them you can leave on, but like on the corners of the mouth and the chin and then the eyelids and the squint area and then also the eyebrows. Go ahead and kill those off of there. Okay, so now anything we do, you can see that the bone continues to move out of the out of the corresponding area after the shape's already applied. So, <clears throat> pardon me. Let's jump into the bone layer that has the deforms here, and let's add a couple of more. Let's add one, let's see, let's grab here, this top one here, tab into edit mode, and let's turn off the x-axis mirror here because I want to shift to duplicate, shift D, duplicate this guy to right there, and we're going to just name that deform brow. Okay, good, and then let's go ahead and add a couple of more, excuse me, for each eyelid, let's go ahead and turn the mirror back on there. And then duplicate those down there. Okay, so let's name this one I top dot L, and then I bottom dot L, and just copy that. Just mouse over and Control C. Go over here, mouse over Control V, and just change that to dot R. And this one Control C, and then dot R. Okay. And then, tell you what, let's move these guys down here to the corners of the mouth. Or maybe even out a little bit. Okay. Um, I think that'll probably work. Let's move these guys in towards the eyelids there. Actually, they're actually going to be controlling the mesh to form, so let's go ahead and turn that layer on and make sure we're in the right area there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Now... I need to grab the mesh to form and go to our weight paint and let's set up these new bones that we made and edit the old ones. Let's grab this one here and let's go ahead and just paint down in this area and then kind of delete, subtract up here, make our brush quite a bit bigger. Okay, hopefully it copied over, yes. Really need to mess with this area down here. Okay, chin be good. Then the eyelid, the new the new eyelids, top and bottom. Need to go ahead and add some new stuff in there. Okay, and the top one as well. Good. Okay, and the center eyebrow. I can just uh, kind of grab both of those. I don't need that red. Just kind of just blur that back down. Okay. Okay, so now we can turn that back off. 
Now if we grab this one and move it, you kind of see it moves both of that. And then if he blinks, or when he moves this one, it moves the whole area there. Okay. So you might can kind of see where I'm going with this. Now we're going to turn this layer back on here. And I'm going to grab this bone. Actually grab that one there. Shift select the eyelid. And I'm going to go control shift C. And it's going to bring up the add constraints with targets. And I'm going to copy the location. And I think I did that wrong. Yes, I need to grab the eyelid first. Let's tell you what, for now, let's turn off the bone shape so I can see what I'm doing a little bit but easier. Okay, so grab the original eyelid bone and then shift select the, the new deform bone and then copy the location. And now we need to go to the constraint settings and turn it to local space, local space, both of those. And you can go ahead and turn, off, turn on offset if you like. And let's set the influence to, let's make it point six five okay and now let's go ahead and turn those shapes back on actually gets a little more confusing when they're, when they're off okay so now when I move this controller here not only is it going to drive the blink shape key it's also going to move this deform modifier so you can kind of see the whole eyebrow area moves along with it so if I do that on all of these guys actually uh, one thing I can do is select all the ones I want to copy over. So let's just select all of these guys. And then, you know, select everything that we've added here. And then, very last, select that very first uh, new bone that we created. And now I'm going to hit spacebar and copy constraints. And I think it's that top one. And now we can go over to constraints here. Select that, and you can see it copied this copy location to all of these bones here, so I don't have to go through there and copy it and set it up with the local space and all that. The only thing i got to change now is the bone that it's copying the location of. So let's grab this one. We don't need to say I top. We need to say I bottom dot L. Okay? Do the same thing over here. I bottom dot L. Oops, this is going to be dot R. There we go. And this one will be itop.r. Okay. This one is going to be brow outer.l. Just going to copy that and then paste over here. Dot r. Okay. And now this one is kind of a conundrum. We're going to have to copy both of these inner ones. Now, uh, in more recent rigs that I've created on my own uh, personal time, uh, I usually just put one bone here instead of having these two separate ones. So um, you can do that if you like, just turn that into one, or we can just add two different constraints here. So let's go ahead and do that. Copy location, and it's going to be Edward Armature there again. So I just hover over, control C, hover over, control V. You don't got to retype it. So let's change this one to brow out, brow, eyebrow inner. Dot L, copy that, paste it in here, dot R. Okay. So let's go ahead and put those, put that at 0.5. Actually, let's make it 0.25, and then this one at 0.25 as well. And we need to change that to local space and offset. Okay. Now, this one, brown are good, and almost there. So it's going to be mouth corner dot L. Good. And finally, mouth corner dot R. Okay. So now, this control is going to make him smile, and it's also going to move the bone there. So that's why I turned off the limits, because if I didn't turn them off, you'd only get up to here, and you wouldn't be able to exaggerate it very much. So, not that those limits are turned off, you can come up even higher, make the expression a lot more fluid. I'm noticing that there's still some limitations there, and that's because up here in the transform we've locked the X and Y, uh, the X and Z axes. So let's go ahead and turn those off as well. So now you can smile like so. And oh, one more. We got to do it on the chin. Let's uh, shift there, copy the constraint. And then change it on the chin to 
chin. There we go. Okay. So now I need the chin. It was the whole deal. Okay, so now you can turn the the deform deformations bones layer off. There we go. And you really, if you have it set up like this, you really don't need to ever turn it back on unless you really want to get specific with your expressions. But uh, the way it goes now, all of your normal shape key driver bones should uh, should do all the the real work you need. And you can set up all kinds of goofy, cartoonish expressions. without ever having to try to mess with it in the with the uh, actual deform bones you can just do it all with the shape key driver bones so anyways that's gonna be it for this it's just a little tip there to kind of uh, uh, supplement the original advanced face rig this advances it a tiny bit more so hopefully you enjoyed that and hopefully you'll make use of it and and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.